I'm holding the crank position sensor wire on an OM617 turbo diesel engine, and sometimes these need to be changed. Uh, the wiring and the connections in this end can deteriorate. You can also have a problem down here with excessive wear damage on the end uh, where the pickup occurs. And this can affect your tachometer. Now, this isn't the only reason that your tachometer isn't working. So don't, don't run out and just think you can get one of these wires replaced and that's going to fix the tack. Could be in the amplifier. And we're not going to cover that in this video, but I just want to talk about how to get this wire off. It, it's really frustrating, and I've had emails from people say, how, how do you get to that uh, nut down there? How do you get a wrench in there to pull that off where it bolts onto a little bracket here on the front of the block? So what I'm going to do is I'll kind of show you on this engine why it's so difficult to get to, and then we'll go over to the other engine that has a lot of the pulleys and accessories pulled off the front. And then you can see what's required to get in there, remove that one nut on that bracket, and then be able to remove this wire and replace it on your old diesel engine. Here you can see the end of the sensor wire right here in the center of this picture. Note that it is mounted to a bracket and there's a small nut right there that holds this little plate on to that bracket and then it holds this pickup end in, in position. Now you would think that you could get in there to get that nut off. It's just an eight millimeter head nut, but watch what the problem is. If you put a box end in here like this, it's too tight up against the wire housing to even get the wrench on. And even if you could get it on, you can only like, move it an inch. And of course, if you try to use a ratcheting box, which I like in these situations, the ratcheting box head is just way too big to fit in there. A thin wall socket should be able to get on the nut, but look, you can't get a socket. There's no way you can get a socket on a ratchet in there. You, you may be able to drop a little socket on there and then try to grab the socket with the vice grip, but you, once again, you don't have any, any room to move. So this can be very frustrating, trying to figure out how to get this off. So let's move over to the other engine that has uh, the pulleys and the vacuum pump removed, and we can get a closer look at that bracket and how to get to that nut. With the vacuum pump removed and these front pulleys, as well as the counterbalance removed from the engine, now you can see this in more detail and you can get a pretty good idea what it will take to get it off. You still have a problem with a box wrench because even if you can get it on there, you may have to, see I got it on there, but you don't really have a lot of movement. So I found that it's, it's better to just use a socket. If you have the vacuum pump off, you could get on here with a socket, probably a shorter extension will work, but if you got a really short eight millimeter socket, you could get it on this nut, so you can loosen it up, and we'll just spin it off the rest of the way by hand, and then you can see how this sensor wire is attached. Okay, here we go. All right. That's it. You can see the bracket, you can see the post that it mounts to. So it's pretty easy to remove and install as long as you can get the nut off. Now, sometimes these get damaged and they actually rub against, uh, this one here is pretty well scratched up, see that? Now when you see one damaged like that, it's, it's been hitting the, the little post on the counterbalance and that's probably not gonna work you know, it's rubbed through there enough that this one probably needs to be replaced. So you can probably pull these off and inspect the end like that and see if you have a problem with a damaged end, then most likely you, you do need to replace this wire assembly. So what did we learn here? Well, if you can remove the vacuum pump from the engine, you don't have to remove the pulleys, but if you remove the vacuum pump, you'll have pretty good access here to get this end of the sensor wire removed. But let's say you don't want to remove the vacuum pump because that's quite a bit of work. You know, if you've got a leak, um, you need to replace the gasket, might be a good time to, to remove the pump. But let me show you a way we can do this. We'll go back to the other engine and show how to get to that nut without having to remove the vacuum pump here. 
So here is what you're going to need if you want to remove that nut without removing the vacuum pump. You're going to need a long extension, at least 12 inches, and you're going to need a good tight quarter inch drive universal joint. If your universal joint is sloppy, too sloppy, you can wrap some electrical tape around it to give it a little rigidity because you don't want it flopping around down there. The other thing you're going to need is a short 8 millimeter socket. Notice this one here, it's too long. If you get the sockets too long, you won't get enough flex in the universal joint to be able to get it on that nut. So you're going to need a as short as possible 8 millimeter socket, put it on the end of that universal joint, and then we're going to go from this side, we're going to go underneath the pump, the vacuum pump, and you'll have to get your other hand and get this kind of lined up because it's kind of hard to get on there. You can see right there, I'm working, trying to get it on the nut. Now, I'm going to have to bend the extension down and use my left hand here to lift up on that universal joint, and then I can get the ratchet on the other end and watch. There it goes. See that? I can spin it out. Now, I'm not going to take this one off, but I'll just show you. And then, of course, getting the nut back on is a little bit of a challenge, but then you can just tighten it right back down with the socket and the universal joint like that. So there you have it. If you have to remove this crank position sensor wire, it's not as bad as you think.